Following Parliament's declaration of a climate emergency, MEPs will vote on a series of measures to help tackle the crisis. This will include a European Green Deal to create jobs and sustainable growth, and steps to reduce CO2 emissions from aviation and shipping. All of this with the aim of reaching net carbon neutrality by 2050. Parliament will vote on proposals to ensure that Europe remains a leader in the digital world. Upcoming legislation will protect people from discrimination by algorithms, update laws on e-commerce, look at how to use big data for innovation and promote artificial intelligence while ensuring it's properly regulated. Parliament will continue to fight for its priorities in the EU's 2021 to 2027 budget. MEPs want more funds for the environment, the single market and innovation and increased spending on external borders and migration. In the event of protracted negotiations, Parliament wants to ensure EU-supported projects and Erasmus Plus exchange programmes receive funding to begin on time in 2021. The European Banking Union was born in the wake of the Eurozone crisis. Parliament will examine the next steps to completing the banking union. This will include a deposit insurance scheme to protect people's savings and a backstop to the Single Resolution Fund, the insurance policy in the event of a bank failure. Parliament will look at how to improve the rights of people who travel by train, in particular those with disabilities or reduced mobility. The rules will ensure passengers are better informed of their rights and that complaints are quickly resolved. Parliament will vote on a new trade agreement with Vietnam in early 2020. The deal would eliminate 99% of tariffs between Vietnam and the EU. MEPs want the deal to bring positive change to Vietnam, including improvements to human and labour rights and support for climate action. Albania and North Macedonia have both met the requirements to begin EU accession talks, MEPs said in October. Parliament said it was disappointed EU members had failed to agree to start those talks. The debate on the accession of Western Balkan nations will continue in Parliament. Montenegro, Serbia, Bosnia-Herzegovina and Kosovo are also hoping to join the EU.